All right, hi Andy. Uh, this is Ryan Erickson with Community Chrysler. I'm going to shoot this video of our 2011 Ford Fusion SEL. Uh, we just talked on the phone and you were telling me you were wanting leather, uh, alloys, I think sunroof was maybe another thing. Uh, so I'm going to walk around this and show you the outside and the inside. I apologize for the snow. It's because it snowed. Uh, but yeah, let you get a good look at it. There's your alloy wheels. The SEL is the top, top of the line trim level. Uh, so you're going to get some stuff that, you know, hopefully you uh, find useful. Uh, kind of your, you got your keyless entry uh, door code there. Uh, but even if you don't necessarily put it to a ton of use, it will help hold the vehicle's value. There's your sunroof from the outside. Of course, the Fords did away with the gas cap, which is kind of nice. One thing you don't have to worry about, clicking it three times or your check engine light comes on or anything like that. Dual exhaust. It's got the spoiler on the back here. On the front end of the SELs, uh, you've got the chrome grille along with the chrome lining on the bottom here. And on your floodlights, running lights. Sorry about that. This does have the upgraded sound, which gives you the Sony speakers. Obviously power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. Power seat. It's black leather interior, and the leather is heated. I'm also going to pop the trunk and let you take a look in there. The leather both in the front and in the back appears to be in really good shape. Got your map pockets on the back of both the driver and passenger seats. And even though this is considered a mid-size vehicle, hopefully I can get the video to do it justice, has a really, really large trunk area. And these seats do fold down if you ever needed to run something longer from the trunk to the front of the vehicle, you'd be able to do that. The Sony sound system gives you the three speakers in the back as well. You don't get that with the uh, lower trim levels that don't have that sound system. You got these lights. You can actually set the color of the lights for both the cup holders and the back and the front. Glove box, lots of room in there. All right, now I'm gonna have a seat in it, show you some of the technology and different features on the inside of the vehicle. Whew. All right. Right there's the controls for your heated seats. Which I have mine on high because it's freezing. And you also have uh, dual climate control. So if you're somebody who stays a little warmer or a little colder than somebody that would ride with you, you can set it to where you want it to be, they can set it to where they want it to be, and everybody's happy. On the wheel, oh, you have Microsoft Sync, Ford Sync, which allows you to program your cell phone wirelessly to your car you can make calls answer calls hang up calls uh, have text messages read to you all sorts of things just right there from the car also 
<coughs> excuse me, your volume control and different controls for your radio on this side and also on this side is your cruise. Uh, your setup button here, that controls this. So you can go through, you see right there, 49,765 miles. Uh, different trips, 12 miles to E, don't worry if you're coming and buy from us, we'll get some gas in there. Um, so different things like that. Let's see, also, let me, I'm going to reset that average mile per gallon. That's mislead, misleading because I've had it sitting here running without moving for about a half hour thawing out. Uh, so that, that's not accurate. Over here, you got a little bit of storage. What do we got in here? Uh, change or gum or not a whole lot else. It's not that big. Um, there's your trunk pop right there. Uh, your shifter, which is uh, leather wrapped. Oh, also in here, you got a little bit of storage there, but you can open this whole thing and down in there, that's where your auxiliary in, your USB, and another power plug is. So that's how you could get your, uh, you know, actually charge your phones without having to get the car charger. You can just use that USB. You can also put, <coughs> play music through a jump drive. I'm going to take it for a quick spin just, just around the building so you can kind of see it in motion, get a feel for it. As you can see right now, just with me cruising around the lot, it's averaging 30 miles a gallon. Um, you know, realistically, this vehicle should be getting you, I'd say on the highway, 28 to 32 in town, low 20s probably, average right around the mid 20s altogether. Now this is a four cylinder, just like the other one that you inquired about, um, but the nice thing, these newer four-cylinders are still very, very peppy. You're not without power by any means. I'll give it a little bit of gas on the way back here. Whoa. Um, so as you can kind of see, hear, feel, um, you know, it is a four-cylinder, but like I said, these aren't the four-cylinders of old. These still have quite a bit of pep, and they can be quite a bit of fun. All right, Andy, I look forward to talking to you, and hopefully I can see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call me. My number is 812-340-7575, and that comes directly to my cell phone. Uh, so like I said, any questions, either email me back or just give me a ring. I'd love to be able to help you out. Thanks, Andy. Have a great day.